I am going to use this 1 liter jar with a lid to make a terrarium. And I want to keep this jar horizontal or even better in tilted position. Like this. Let's use a wire hanger to make a stand for this tilted jar terrarium. Cut off the hook. Straighten the wire as best you can. Here I use a hard to bend wire with a 2 mm diameter. Now let's put the wire into a silicon tubing. The tubing would make the stand less slippery and prevent the glass from scratching over the wire. Leave some spare tubing on one end of the wire to make a connection with the other end of the wire later. I like to make the connection point at the bottom of the stand. So that is where I start bending the wire. And from here we go and bending the wire all the way around the jar. The neck of the jar rests on the wire. Put the jar on the stand to see how it fits and make adjustments accordingly. Cut off any excess wire only after bending all parts of the stand. And finally we are at the most important step of making the stand. Cut off excess of the tubing leaving enough of the tubing to make the connection. Connect both ends of the wire. And adjust the stand. Place the jar on the stand. Ta-da! All looks good. Ok, take a look at the stand alone. Now uh, let's make needle sized holes in the cover of the jar for air circulation. Here I park 5 holes in the middle of the cover. That should be enough. In this example I'm setting up the terrarium for isopods. Let's put some pit moss for moisture retention. I'm not sure what isopods may like. Let's just add this rock. And perhaps some chola wood. So, about two weeks ago I put isopods in a temporary terrarium. Here you can see the temporary terrarium as of today, November 27th. Seems like my isopods don't like cereal and they don't go after the mold you see growing here. Let's remove the spoiled food. Now let's transfer the moss and sticks with isopods to the new terrarium. My other pots seems to be interested in wilting leaves, moss and wood. Spray some water to keep it all moist. And close the enclosure. Here you can see other pots start exploring their new home. Congratulations! We have made a 1 liter jar terrarium. I built this terrarium to learn more about isopods. A 1 liter enclosure takes little space and provides a great opportunity for this purpose. I will keep you updated on the care and everything I learn about isopods. Have fun and happy terrariums!